everyone. I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to Easy Piano Lessons. <clears throat> um, if you'd like to email me to get information on how to get the completions of my songs on DVD, you can do that by sending me an email to easypianolessons at yahoo.com. Or if you just have a question, uh, you can uh, send me a question as well. <clears throat> also, uh, you can check out the website at www.webpianoteacher.com. We have almost 600 videos on the site now and they are all the completions to the songs that are on YouTube. So uh, you can, can get a membership to that and then uh, have access to all those videos as well. <clears throat> so we have uh, Chopin Prelude in A major here and this is actually the whole piece because it's not very long so I was able to fit it on one board. Let's start with the right hand above middle C with an E and then we'll go up to C sharp up to D and then back down to B with the G sharp and a D. See the three there? I'm telling you to do it three times. <clears throat> Left hand's on a low E down here. And then up to the middle of the piano with an E and a middle E here. <clears throat> now if you notice, um, the right hand D is lower than the left hand E. And you have a hand crossing there. So you want to put the right hand thumb underneath the left hand thumb. You may say, well, why don't I just do this? Because Chopin wrote it that way because of the voicing of the chord. So that the chord would sound like you wanted it to if you played it all with, with uh, one hand. The weight that you put on each note is different than if you played it like this. Okay? <clears throat> so uh, I just put my right hand thumb underneath my left hand there. So this first little uh, section here goes... go up to D and F sharp together. <clears throat> then I'm going to have a C and an E flat together. And then a C sharp and an E together. And then that same C sharp with an A above that three times. One, two, three. Left hand's on an A right here. And then up to the middle of the piano with an A and an E together three times. So this section here is bring out the pinky note, it's the melody, try to play all the other notes softer. Because you don't want it to plod, you want it to be really graceful. And then we're going to have E and C sharp together on the right hand, then down to C sharp and A sharp together, and then D and B together, and then we're going to have F sharp and D together three times. The left hand is going to have a low E. Okay, then we're going to bring the left hand up here and do an E and a B together three times. So let's do this section right here. And I have a curved line there on the D because you want to keep holding that thumb down while you're doing this. Okay, so again. And then after that we're going to have right hand with a D and a G sharp together. We'll have it again. And then C sharp and A. Now keep holding the C sharp in the thumb, and then play a right hand C sharp, and then play both of them two more times. See on the top C sharp I have a three because you play it three times. On the bottom C sharp you play it here, and you hold it over for the first time, and then you play it the last two times in unison with the right hand. Let me show you. And then both of them, and then both of them, that way. Left hand's on a low A, way down here, you can see that. Uh, then we're going to come up to an E, A, and E in the middle of the piano three times. So this section sounds like this. Okay, now we're going to start over and we're going to repeat the bracketed part. So start at the beginning and stop right here after this C sharp and E. Okay, so here we go repeating. Now this is where that red G sharp comes into play. On the repeat, we are going to play a C sharp with a G sharp there. Okay, so here's the repeat. Down here. Stop right there. Then come up here. And we're going to have an A and a C sharp together way up here. Two times. Left hand's going to have <clears throat> A, E, A here. So two times. Alright, now let's learn this chord right here. This is a big chord. I didn't have room to put all the notes in. This is actually all one chord, even this part. Uh, left hand is going to have F sharp, middle C sharp, and then an E, and then an F sharp. It's a big reach, a big stretch. If you can't reach it, then leave some of the notes out. That'll be fine. 
your right hand's going to have A sharp and C sharp here, A sharp and C sharp, but you're going to play both notes with your thumb. So put your thumb sideways and do that. And then you're going to have an E above that, and then an A sharp above that, and then a C sharp above that. So you have five notes in your right hand. It's a big stretch. You may not be able to reach that. If you can't, then leave some of the notes out. Leave out the, the, the ones in the middle on both hands if, if you need to. You don't want to leave out the outer notes. So uh, you just play that one time. It's a big stretch. So I'm going to start right here on the repeat, and then I'll jump up here. All right? Well, let me do that again. Okay? And continuing on, we have A sharp and C sharp together. We have it again, and then B and D together, and then F sharp and B together, then change the B to an A and keep the F sharp, then change the A to a G sharp and keep the F sharp again. Left hand's on a low B way down here, and then up to a D and an F sharp together, and then play the D and F sharp again, but add a B in the middle, and then keep the D and the B and change the bass note to an E. Okay, so let me do this little section right here. Alright, and then here we have D and G sharp together. Then we have that D again with a B above it. And then a C sharp and an A together. And then we're going to play this A again right here. But it's a grace note, so it's really quick. So on the thumb, that A, and then C sharp and A together up here three times. So this last little part on the right hand goes da da da. This is really fast right here. Um, okay. Left hand's on a low A, and then up to the middle of the piano for E A and E three times. So let's, let me start right here and do this last little section. And that's really hard to get over there and make it sound graceful. You want to play that C sharp with your left hand so you can get your right hand over to do the grace note without playing it too loud. Kind of helps, but uh, anyway, there's the piece, and uh, it's com it's complete. That's the whole prelude there. Uh, and again, check out the website. Uh, you know, got almost 600 videos on there now. We'll add more, but uh, they're all the uh, completions to the songs. And uh, just email me at easypianolessons at yahoo.com if uh, you want to, if you have a question or want information about getting a DVD. Talk to you later.